And now, Splunk Cybersecurity 60 Second Charity Challenge. Remember the rules. You've got to get through an entire subject in 60 seconds, or you donate to today's charity of choice. Good luck. All right. Uh, so in today's 60 Second Charity Challenge, we are talking about network surveillance. Uh, so last week, the U.S. Federal Trade Commission voted unanimously to adopt rules banning the import or sale of telecom equipment from Chinese companies, including Huawei and ZTE, over national security concerns. And at the same time, the British government uh, recently banned the installation of surveillance cameras manufactured by Chinese companies at sensitive locations uh, due to potential security issues. So, Mick and Ryan, I wanted to ask you what you think you, uh, people watching should know about uh, network surveillance and you know what's possible when it comes to government surveillance or ISPs. Makes sense. Um, I was not here last show. Who won? Was that a oh, Mick gosh, or a special was... guest? So we both ago. won. We, we're we're all winners. We're all winners. I so think okay. as recompense for your time in Geneva, you go first. Which is where I was for that show. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't have any chocolate, so I don't. I'm not a. I don't believe you. It's, uh, I was going to bring some, but uh, you're just not a very good human, so I decide not. I got right. it. I got it. I will go first. Uh, Lucky, give me a countdown. Okay. When you have nations that are competing against each other for commercial or military advantage, as China against the U.S., China against the U.K., most Five Eyes are. They're going to do the best they can to get as much information as possible from any source. This is especially true for China. Over the years, there's been so much documented about the million grains of sand sort of mentality they have for intelligence collection. Huawei is a Chinese company, although it claims not to be owned by the Chinese government, but instead is owned by a labor union that solicits donations from employees when their colleagues have health problems and the like. That's a direct quote. No one has any clue what that means. They even go on to say no Chinese government owns shares in Huawei, but they also have never offered private shares. Ownership is murky. Why does this matter? At least for the US and the UK, there are legitimate concerns about Huawei having access to sensitive information that traverses their network equipment. Some would argue that this is a moot issue since the majority of US and Five Eyes equipment is manufactured in China, but I think it does matter that the governments have made a stand against Chinese intelligence collection. There we go. All right, Mick. <laughs> okay. All right. So between you and the internet is someone else. Always going to be. That's just the way it works. Between you and your mail a letter, there's someone else. Now, the reason why networking gear becomes so critical and so important is because if I'm a nation state and I'm trying to collect everything, um, it's like fishing. And when I have a big net, I'm going to catch a few dolphins in there, unless the point is to catch those dolphins all along. And that's what I want to do. So with networking gear, I want to put that on the backbone as many systems as I can, because that way I can just cast a wider net. If I'm collecting things, I have much more data to choose from, much more data to pull from. Now, the problem being, and I guess that's just the why, why way it goes is that you are an adversarial nation state government and the United States is not going to let that happen. The United Kingdom is not going to let that happen. Um, I don't think it's going to be as big a problem as people think. There's going to be workarounds for that for a nation state, but it's good to let people know that there are other people watching what they do. All right. Well, before I say anything, does anyone watching have an opinion on who won? Because- Let's see. It's Ooh. always a difficult choice. So I don't think it's that difficult, Audra. I mean, I mean, he is your I'm, boss. So. And <laughs> one person is a bad human who doesn't deserve chocolate. So. All right, well, yeah, but Audra just... didn't get to. <laughs> who said she didn't? Mm. Well, no I, I, I like make how you always, you know, you reference that there's always between you and the internet, there's someone else. And I think that's an important thing to remember, whether it's metadata or who knows what. Uh, you know, depending on the technology, uh, I think that's something to, to keep in mind. And that kind of ties into our next conversation about end-to-end -end encryption, which we'll get to in a minute, uh, the importance of that and kind of what you mentioned, Ryan, in your, uh, your 10 things segment uh, that, you know, if you don't have anything to hide, why do you need encryption? Well, just privacy. That's, there we go. and that's a good enough answer. So um, I'm going to go with Ryan today. Oh, 
but it was a tough call and no one weighed in on the chat. So <laughs> no, no, we have someone who split the Gordian knot of both won my vote. Oh, uh, really? I didn't see I'm um, behind on my chat so. here. Right. This like, is why lucky votes. All right, this is why we let lucky vote. Okay, yeah. <laughs> this is why we let lucky vote. Um, hundred percent. This is the good news there. All right. So, and what is our charity uh, today? The charity today is uh, Red by the One campaign, and this is because World AIDS Day is coming up on December first. Uh, so we decided to donate to Red, which was founded uh, in the fight against AIDS. So uh, that is the charity this week. 